Hi, my name is Josh Gaskamp. I'm an Ag Research Assistant with the uh, Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation. And of course, we're here in Oklahoma at the Noble Foundation. You've got behind you a cage looking like thing. What is it for? What are we talking about here today? Well, that's that basically based on some research we've done in the past. We, we sort of hybridized the, the uh, corral trap and drop nets. Uh, we've used some drop nets in the past for capturing uh, feral hogs and have shown those to be very effective uh, for our control efforts on feral hogs. Uh, so we, we, this is basically a hybrid of the corral trap and drop net that, that we've also seen similar effectiveness um, in capturing feral hogs as well. So how is this different from a net? Uh, well, the main differences from a net are uh, the ability to load pigs out uh, live and, and sell those to the, these markets that are uh, generally um, overseas, but um, there, there is a, a meat market um, for, for feral hog meat. Um, that's one of the advantages. Another advantage of, of this over the drop net um, is the ability to capture every single hog in the sounder. Uh, sure, we're very effective at capturing entire sounders with our drop nets, but uh, we'd lose a few just based just because of the structure of the net. Hogs are able to uh, drag the net off of other hogs. Uh, some of those hogs escape. Uh, once we drop this trap on hogs, uh, we, generally none of them escape. We lose less than one percent of the hogs out of this trap. Tell me what a sounder is. A uh, sounder is a sorry. A sounder is a group of, of feral hogs. Generally, a, a family group uh, consists of two or three females uh, with, their, with their young. Often, a few uh, adult males will be in those groups as well. But generally, they're uh, anywhere from eight to twenty pigs. And tell me, why would we want to get rid of the feral hogs? Uh, well, the feral hogs, for for a lot of different disciplines, they cause uh, problems. Uh, just, you know, some of the greatest issues with feral hogs are crop damage that, that can be a very large investment um, to, to repair those, those, those crops, um, to, to repair equipment that hogs damage uh, uh, inadvertently with their rooting. Uh, some of these equipment, this equipment drives over rooting in, in the fields and, and can damage some of the equipment. Uh, the haying, uh, they'll, they'll lose some, some of the production in, in the pastures uh, as far, and, and as long as the native rangeland as well. Now tell me one other thing about the way that this cage works. How do you activate it, and how do you catch the hogs? Well, uh, a, another issue with our with our drop nets, some of the producers that were interested in feral hog control and very effective feral hog control were interested in our drop nets, but they did not like the fact that they had to sit out in the field and wait on hogs to show up uh, uh, and activate those nets with a remote control from on site. Uh, we went a little step further with this, and and uh, developed some software uh, that we could um, remote into a computer um, from off-site. So I could, and how long have you had this uh, trap? Uh, we've been trapping with this trap for a little over a year, about a year and four months uh, now, and uh, it's been we've been very excited with it. We've done a we, we've done a lot of modifications um, in that time period, and and I think we finally got it to the point that um, we're comfortable. Using it, we're, we're, we've developed a research project. We're actually testing the effectiveness of this trap uh, against those other tr conventional trapping techniques, as well as the drop 